African leopard with her two seven-month-old cubs. Look how beautiful they are. And they're playing at the moment. They're also keeping a keen ear open because Karula, she got some food for her, her babies last yesterday and she hunts. So you know what, sometimes the, the bush is, uh, is a little bit harsh and we might find it a bit harsh but all the animals have to eat and these animals are carnivores so they eat meat and they can eat anything from, they also can eat insects sometimes when things at times are tough but leopards are the most, probably the most adaptive cat in Africa. Now when I mean adaptive, if you don't know what that word means, ask your teachers as well. And I mean, it basically means that they can really survive in very, very different habitats. And habitats is just places where the animals live. So as long as there's lots of food around, and if times get tough, they'll eat small things. But if the food is available, like bigger things like impala or different antelope, they'll also eat those. And yesterday, she got an impala for her, her babies and they've had a, a big feed on that. They've got full bellies. But I am so excited that we are sitting here with Karula. And she, as I said, is a very, very famous, famous leopard. Ah, oh, this is just the best. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Just magical stuff. So this is what we do out here. So we've got a question from Nick Stark in Lupus Garden School. Welcome aboard guys and thank you very very much for joining us this morning on this live safari. And you're looking at Karula at the moment. You want to know what leopards eat. Well just sort of carrying on from what I was saying, they, they have a very, very broad diet. They can take anything from, you know, a small uh, reptile or even been known to eat crickets in some parts uh, to right up to small giraffe. I mean, there's been some incredible uh, footage of that in, in some parks very close to here. So they eat a broad range of things, but mainly their prime uh, food around here is antelope. Uh, there's an antelope called an impala. There's another antelope called a kudu, a young one they probably take. Um, there's also some smaller uh, antelope called dica and steenbok, and also warthog. So, you know, the, there's a food chain that works. These are called an apex predator, and for people that aren't sure what that is and if you're not doing that at school at the moment um, then the teachers will explain to you what that means in in simple terms but if you are doing working in in right up in uh, the top end of your your biology apex predators are the predators that are at the top and then uh, there'll be a food chain that occurs right down underneath those apex predators and then you might be also wanting to maybe design a food web at school together and that might be a really great thing to do with your class as well. So thank you very much for your question. And uh, that's what leopards eat. But wow, what a sighting we have here on our beautiful leopard. And she is just so beautiful to see. And she's so um, comfortable with us. Now that's something else, kids, that I want to explain. Why don't, um, why don't they run away? They won't, don't run away because we are no threat to them. They are very comfortable with us. They've been... This uh, leopard here has known us for over 10 years and uh, she is very, very comfortable with us being here and her cubs. But she's sitting there keeping a close eye out and uh, those cubs were born on the 2nd of February this year so I can't quite see where they are. Brian, do you think we should move forward a little bit, mate, and have a look? Mr. Root in Gilgandra Public School. How cool is that? Gilgandra, you're watching a live safari. Great to have you. Give us a shout out. Oh yeah, we heard that from Africa, that's for sure. Fantastic to have you on board, Mr. Root. 
a great question, how old are they? Um, Karula is about 12 years of age and the cubs were born on the 2nd of February so that's really cool. The cubs have gotten to 7 months of age and that means that there's a really, really good chance that they're going to survive because sometimes the cubs can fall victim to other predators which is quite sad but at the same time it's part of life in the bush and uh, at this age there's a good chance but she's also a fantastic mother. Mr Root and Gilgandra Public School, welcome aboard. We're just going to reposition so I can see if I can get some pictures of the babies for you.